Hello everybody, good bit of Hugh here, here with the cricket man. So last we left Earth, we protected the left fluffy. We And uh, God, this is like a really long LP, I'm sorry for this. Let's see. Now we got all the pieces. We can go. Finally get the fucking fucky fuck. You know the you know the one. That's not it. In here. Fuck safe. Come on. Oh wait. Maybe it's that thing. Whatever. Let's see. I have the pieces Y, A, L, F, I, and M. Can I make a word out of that? Fuck yeah you can. Choose which pieces to start Starting from left. F. A. M. Family! Oh, you're a safe key. Oh, hell yeah! And we got a weapon. Pistol and a revolver! Hell yeah, just level the playing field. Nothing else in the safe. <laughs> Where the hell does the bloody key go, by the way? Hmm. Bah! Crooked man, no! M Monster! M Mr. David! Help! This monster is damn persistent! Fluffy, over here! Hell yeah, I got a gun! No, I'm scared of monsters! I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here! Don't let that monster come near you! Fluffy! God fucking damn it, Fluffy! Where the hell did you go? Did you go down here? Fucking fuck fuck Fluffy! What the fuck? Whatever. Must have gone up here, maybe? Hung. Fluffy! Where the fuck did you go, Fluffy? <laughs> Dogs! I know! It is important! It is very important! No. Where the fuck did he go? Did he go on the roof? They could have possibly gone on the roof. <sighs> or let's just look on the roof. Cause he's a fucking dumbass. Who knows where we can push the fucking man off? Bitch. Gotta get in there. Fucking fuck, Fluffy. You better be up here. Fluffy! Yes, good. Fuck for fuck's sake, Fluffy. There you are. Look out! No, 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 no! Stay away! Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy. I don't let it get near. Shit. Ah, run away! Mr. David, help! Damn it. It really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen. Don't let it catch you. Run away. I'll take care of it. Uh, okay. Battle! That was much easier. Fucking fuck knives. P push him off the roof. This is the end. Don't care. Don't can't come near Fluffy again, monster. Yes, I finally fucking pushed him off. 
That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I, I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even it could. <sighs> Fluffy, I'm sorry I had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Fluffy? Are you okay? Why? Why what? Huh? I... It, it's so scary that I, I keep hanging in there and I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? WHAT DOES MAMA HATE ME?! Ooh. Fluffy! Mama hates me. So she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true! It's not! It... That's not... You. You... I'm going to Mr. Policeman. No, <coughs> I thought that was David. I'm going to Mr. Policeman. Huh? Well, okay. I'll go with you. I'm fine! I can go there myself! Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own. Even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. What? <gasps> my, my head it feels like it's gonna explode. F Fluffy? Fluffy? Where are you, Fluffy? He left? On his own. Fluffy? No. Fluffy! Your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. Oh no! What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins. Looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing... Nothing will change. Let's go home, David. Let's go home. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Wait, did I save? Now I did. Are we okay, David? It's all gonna be okay, David. It's all gonna be okay. Just gonna go home. Gonna get eat some nice soup. Just relax on the couch. We all gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Remember, you pushed him off the roof. He's probably out there. What the? Sounded like a woman's voice. I didn't hear anything. Could be Fluffy's mother? She did come from. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice came from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. God damn it, I just came from in there. What the fuck ever? Hello? Hmm. Basement? <gasps> the door's open! Hello? Who- Who's that over there? Hello? Yes, who are you? Hey! Who are you? Huh? 
Wow. Huh? Hmm. Mom? Yeah, Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? What? That's not... Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet you abandon me? No! You were sick, Mom! So... So you left me? My own family couldn't stand me anymore? No! You're wrong! Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here! Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. Let her fucking go. Are you try going to try to kill me again? Again? It hurts so much, Davy. I think that sums it up. I'm not gonna do that. Mm, poor Davy. Maybe I should turn my volume up a little. Ah! Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Oh no, she hurt David. Mom, please. I'll turn a little bit. Okay. You, you kept saying these things like that. Dad just went out, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you've already gone senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong! Are you testing me? Because it's not funny! Please! Mom! Quiet! I'm not your mother! I don't know you! Get out! Enough! <gasps> what? M murderer! Somebody! Murderer! David? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, let go! You're you're trying to kill her? Yes. David! Shit, I tried to kill my mom. Shit. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's pretty much pressure on her brain. Sudden change in her behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain illness. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Ooh. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe we should say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner... Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Mommy, no! Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. <sighs> no. We're 
not family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have, I would have never been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me. And it's true, I've abandoned her in a hospital. She was my only family. My precious family who cared for me after my father left. And yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family will go awry. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. What? What are you doing? Scene three. Central Hospital. Fluffy. End. Ah, for fuck's sake. What's happening now? Oh, for fuck's sake, the volume on this thing is so low. Ring, 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 ring. Let's pull. Damn it. David hadn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David... We shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and surely he's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something and there was no turning back from. I suggest moving to clear his, get his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now did it? It wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Ugh. Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. And you're always talking about you, how you see things and... <gasps> David? David, where are you? Central Hospital. Well, why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. So don't move as much as a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! Oh no. David, baby. Damn it. I take a... I take about a day to get to the place of my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. Go, man, go! Jesus! Save David! Save him! <laughs> David's car. He's still gotta be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark. So stay close behind me. Right. Well, shit. No, we're Paul and Marion. Well, fuck, for fuck's sake. Meh. Okay. David! Were those footprints? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Go. Go find him. Go find him. David? David. David. <gasps> Wait. David. David. Where the fuck did you go? 
David, David, you're really, we're really worried, don't you know? Meh. There was... They're dead cats! Oh no, that's awful. You don't think David... Oh, come on! Why would he do something like that? Must have been some crazy dude. Yeah, must have. What was that bloody key for, anyway? I don't know. I just don't know. What the fuck is he? He can't be on the rooftop, could he? <laughs> Meh. Who's there? What are you doing here? There. David? A, a girl? Wait, is that Sissy? <gasps> Sissy! Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Sissy! Hey! What the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Go see him. Right, her voice is higher. Man, what the hell was that? I don't know. Hmm. Well, if she's going that way, maybe I'm in the wrong way. Maybe this way. Boo! Boo. <gasps> Someone else! David! Hey! Who are you? D! Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. We're going the right way, at least. What? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. We gotta go save him! We gotta fulfill our destiny! Maybe on the rooftop. There was a crooked man! And he walked a crooked mile! A, a kid? D don't tell me there's a kid wandering around here. Fluffy! Fluffy! He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile! He brought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse! Hey, kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a little crooked house. Hey, are you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of not being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was all sad all the time, but then he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What the left shit? What was with him? Why did he know David? Did he meet him? I mean, did he meet him? Sorry, goddammit. Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion? What's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just, who do you keep talking to? Wait. What? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need a fine David. No jokes. Wait. <gasps> so that's it, huh? 
They're fucking ghosts? Holy shit! Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry. I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us up both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right. Please, come back quickly. Right. For fuck's sake, they were ghosts! Just wait for me, David. So, I thought I was being nice and helping them. No! For fuck's sake! Okay, so we're gonna end it here, because I know we got the big finale coming up. I just know it. Okay, so... Have a good day, everybody! Bye!